Watching Philam TV is easy, but best of all, it's free. It is the wonder of digital television. Now, it's a small do-it-yourself project, so let's get right to it. Okay, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is check and see what type of television you have. It's either gonna be an analog TV or a digital TV. Now, most televisions purchased after 2007 are digital TVs, so it will already have that digital TV antenna built in. Now, if you purchased your TV, or if your TV is older than 2007, then there's a good chance that it may not have that digital antenna or receiver built in. So all you need to do is go grab yourself an outdoor or indoor antenna, and you'll receive that digital signal. Okay, so this is what you're gonna need if you're setting up your digital TV and you have a cable or satellite subscription. You're gonna need the same things, the coaxial cable, the digital antenna. The only difference is, is you're gonna to need to buy yourself an AB switch. Now the AB switch comes in a variety of forms as well. This one costs you a dollar. But what you have to do here is you have to actually get up and switch from A to B. Uh, the difference between A and B, A let's say is your cable or satellite, and then when you switch to B, you'll be able to get digital on the air. Uh, you can upgrade yourself and go more tech and get this one, which is gonna cost you probably somewhere around $25, $30, and it allows you to just have a remote and you can sit back, switch back and forth while you're sitting on your couch as well. And that's all you need. Let's go set it up. Most newer TVs have multiple input sources. HDMI, RCA, and S-Video are some ways to connect your cable or satellite box to your TV. This is how your existing cable or satellite connection looks like. A coaxial cable comes from the wall or floor into your cable or satellite box, connected to the cable in or satellite in input. Another coaxial cable would be connected to the TV out on the rear of your box to the video in on the rear of your TV. Step 1. Disconnect coaxial cable from the coaxial input on the back of your television set. Step 2. Connect the coaxial cable you just disconnected to the B cable input on the AB switch. Step 3. Connect the antenna to the A input on the AB switch. Step 4. Connect the TV out on the AB switch to the TV's coaxial input. Always run a channel programming setup to scan for available channels after you connect new equipment to your TV. You would have ran this scan when your TV was brand new. To do this, use your TV's remote to find the menu where you may choose TV or antenna as your input. The scan function is usually found in settings, setup, tuner, or channels, depending on the brand. Consult your TV's manual for instructions on how to scan digital channels. Find the option that will perform a channel search or auto search. This usually takes five to 10 minutes, after which you'll be able to surf channels normally. You'll find Phil Am TV on 31.3. And that's how you set up your digital TV. See you at Phil Am TV 31.3. It's time to shine.